When contemplating the objects of the senses, one develops attachment. In such attachment, lust awakens. And when lust is unfulfilled, anger arises. So anger is born with frustrated material desires. So therefore, Krishna says, in the very beginning, one must curb this deadly sinful enemy known as lust. We must conquer the lower self with the higher self. Through the process of devotional service, we practice keeping our senses constantly engaged in positive devotional activities. The idle mind is the devil's workshop. When we allow idleness to come into our mind, then our senses become very disturbed and restless. And then naturally anger will come. Because you can never completely satisfy the senses. So first of all, we have to create an atmosphere within our life which is preventative. Which means we must keep our mind and senses always engaged in devotional service. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur has said that if you can control the tongue, you can control all the other senses. So we must practice very diligently to control our tongue. What does that mean? First of all, we should not engage in gossip. Talk which is not constructive to the spiritual progress of others. And the tendency of the uncontrolled tongue is to speak of so many worldly affairs or speak critically of devotees of the Lord. When we speak critically of the devotees of the Lord, not only does it pollute our own mind and heart with material contamination, but it pollutes the entire atmosphere. So therefore, the first thing we should do is no gossip, no rumors, no criticism. So what are we going to do with our tongue? Because this is the natural tendency of everyone in Kali Yuga, is gossip, rumors, and criticism. We should dovetail the propensity of the tongue to glorify the devotees, to glorify the Lord, and to chant the holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. And we should not allow our tongue to go anywhere away from the glorification of Krishna at any time. We should only speak what is required for our devotional service. And second of all, if you overeat with too many opulent foods, it creates disturbance in the belly, disturbance to one's sexual propensities, and disturbance to the mind. And then you are very, very prone toward anger. You become like fire. Your whole consciousness becomes like raging fire. So we should only eat simple prasad, what is required, and we should only speak the positive glories of the Lord and His devotees, chanting His holy names. And this is the process by which we can defeat this deadly enemy of anger, lust. If we do not practice this carefully, from material contemplation comes lust. When we become angry, we lose our intelligence, and gradually we progressively fall down from the spiritual path. And when momentarily you find you are inflicted by anger, you have to immediately cry out for Krishna to save you. And if you catch that you have already made a mistake, and you should immediately beg humbly the forgiveness of whoever you have offended in your anger. Okay. 
gradually you will learn to be able to You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.